Hello, beautiful people. Welcome, 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 welcome to 2024 high school football kickoff. And today, tonight's matchup is high school football is Warwood Academy High School versus Carrollton High School. And we're live at the uh, Graham Edgen Field at Glencoe Stadium. And right there, that's the marching band. And hello, welcome to the high school football kickoff. ESPN High School Football Showcase. This could be bigger and better than ever. We've got the first of six games coming your way over the next week, and we get, begin in some very refer, uh, fertile recruiting ground. Yeah, this is a preview to the future of college football, and I can't think of a better place to start than the state of Georgia, which, in my opinion, has the deepest pool of talent in the entire recruiting landscape. Some of the best high school teams and players in the country come to a college campus near you. The highest-ranked player on our opening high school slate is the number two player of the ESPN. ESPN 300 quarterback Julian Lewis, who reminds you of a former Heisman Trophy winner. Yeah, Bryce Young, certainly a high bar to set, but I think that Julian has those cypher tools, and it certainly starts with the accuracy, the ability to put that football where it needs to be for the receiver to make a play. It's more than just physical trait. The poise, when things break down, to stay calm, still find ways to make a play, and that was something that Bryce Young just excelled at when he was at Alabama. And then the mobility. Both of these players are capable of taking off, creating plays with their legs, but it's more about generating those second-chance opportunities opportunities that you see there Julian Lewis being able to do and just when you thought you had Bryce Young all boxed in in college he would find a way to break free and make a play and I think that Julian Lewis has those same type of traits to at any moment create a big play well if the numbers are in the indication I think you're on the right track more than 7200 yards for his high school career most in school history and how about 96 touchdown passes over his last two seasons now for Woodward a pair of very talented two-way players Virginia commit Josiah Abdullah and no Notre Dame legacy commit Jerome Bettis Jr. Dad was a running back, kid lives on the outside. Yeah, Dad was the bus, and Jerome Bettis Jr. is a little bit more like a stretch limo. <laughs> He's got outstanding size as a receiver, and he uses that size to be a dangerous weapon down in the red zone. You see the ability to go up, attack the football at its highest point, be able to win those contested matchups. He's got outstanding body control as well. You can see the ability to push up field, watch him drop those hips, be able to get out of his break, create separation as a route runner, and maybe his best asset are his hands. He's got big, strong mitts, the ability to reach out, snatch that football, bring it in, and make the completion. A lot of talent on the field tonight as we look at the two coaches. We've got Mr. John Hunt on your right. Spent a lot of time, a lot of his career with Steve Spurrier in the coaching ranks. And, and also we have a uh, marching band. As the head coach at Carrollton, 104 wins in eight seasons as a head coach. The fastest coach in Georgia high school history to win 100 games. And now we are on ESPN2 for tonight's game. And defers to the second half, so Carrollton will receive. And we are underway. Here we go. Season, and we begin with a touchback as AJ Neal grabs it in the end zone. So after Woodward defers, we get our first look at Juju Lewis here tonight, the number two quarterback, number two player in the ESPN 300. And Matt, you look at those impressive numbers, and one thing you got to remember is that that's only through two seasons. He started as a freshman. He was supposed to be going into his junior year reclassified to the 2025 class. So really, all of that that he has done is just within, within two years. And now, though, making a big leap forward, ready to head to college here after his senior year. And this is like Georgia high school football. Him coming up after the first commercial break, you want to stay tuned for that. And, season and look, we're on ESPN2. Wow, it's ESPN2. And luckily for Georgia, 
No, but it isn't. Looks like all eyes is they don't want to wear their uniforms, but luckily for them. <laughs> luckily for them. So lucky for them. And for Philadelphia, yes, he do. Now it's our turn. Behind the line. That's going to be a loss of two. You saw the athleticism from it. They're going to try to do whatever they can to get the ball in his hand. Yeah, this is an offense that is trying to get a running game established, trying to get it out to the edge. You're going to try different ways to get Abdullah involved. He's their electric playmaker. But you see Shamar Anu, the USC commit, 
I was reading it, getting downhill, lowering that shoulder. You like to see him wrap up on that, but still delivering enough of a hit to make the tackle. Our new top 100 corner as we look at Landon Walker, who just announced his commitment to the Naval Academy. Just like his older brother, just like his father as well. And have a false start there, or some movement along the line of scrimmage. And we are looking live at the at the Graham Hackson Field at Calls Quit Stadium. We already started the first quarter and who made a touchdown? We 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 did T touchdown. And we are in the lead. Seven nothing. Navy commit setting sail early with points on the board for Woodward Academy. And we'll be right back after these messages. 